Honorable Chairperson and Honorable colleagues, I pray that and all Ugandans accept my sincere apology. The embattled Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Mary Goretti Chitutu, appeared before Parliament's Committee on Presidential Affairs for the second time, which is probing the relief iron sheet scandal. The minister admitted that the iron sheets meant for the vulnerable people of Karamoja were distributed without proper guidelines. She claimed this is because she was not guided well. And that your mother and your brother have been selling iron sheets. Set those people free, not in bad faith. I imagine what now, you are, your family is going through. Now, Honorable Chair, maybe that one I can also give you, because I've never gone there, I also hear it. I've actually Did not you gone deliver home. iron seats to those people? Well, that was part of the donation for a school. And it was being so, stored. Oh, okay. So, did so you, I that repeat, one I need to get I, I, for I more want to information confirm. about proper guidance. Some iron sheets meant for Karamoja region were given outside the region in response to requests. This could have been an oversight, but now that guidance has been given, this will not recur. Any inconveniences? and embarrassments caused is highly regretted. Chitutu said she will present a separate statement to the president and the entire executive in regard to the same. My commitment to serving Uganda as a whole and the Minister of Karamoja Affairs in particular is unwavering. Honorable Chairperson and Honorable Colleagues, I pray that and all Ugandans accept my sincere apology. MPs asked Chitutu to explain how some OPM branded iron sheets found their way into the private hardware stores belonging to her relatives. The Honorable Minister is a senior minister and has served in many capacities before the Ministry of Karamoja Affairs. When she says she distributed without proper guidance, from whom does she want to get guidance? for this particular supplementary budget or for the, the issue of iron sheets. The minister was overwhelmed by the questions and asked for more time to present a detailed report on the beneficiaries in a closed session without camera. This after she was put under oath, but the prayer was rejected by the committee on grounds that the beneficiaries are already in the press. For the beneficiaries, Honorable Chair, I request that possibly I will give to you the information in confidence, not on the media. And uh, secondly, when I said that I was not guided, normally the head of the technical teams, that's the PS, is always supposed to be guiding ministers. And I did not receive that. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.